Today we will simulate a series connection and a parallel connection. So, we start creating a circuit to connect in series. Instead of using resistors, we will use light bulbs. So that we can preview the differences between connection in series and connection in parallel. We will add two bulbs and connect them in series with each other. We will add a voltage source which is the battery. We connect the components together using wires. As soon as the circuit was closed, the first lamp started to turn on and the second lamp was turned on. And to make sure that these same resistors. We will show the value here. The value of the resistors will be 10 ohms. Now we have completed a circuit to connect in a series. We will create another circuit to connect in parallel. We will add two bulbs, add a battery, and start connecting them in parallel using wires. Now the circuit is complete and the lights are turned on. Let us review the difference between series connection and parallel connection. The first difference we have is the division of voltage. I mean, we want to see the voltage in the event of a series connection, how is it divided by the two lamps, as well as in the case of parallel connection. And that's by taking a voltmeter and starting to measure. The first thing I have here is the voltage of 9 volts. We measure on the first bulb. I will start measuring it in this way, and I will see that it is 4.5 volts. It means half the value of 9 volts. If you come to the second, It is also worth 4.5 volts. The voltage remains in series now, divided by the two lamps or the two resistors. Each resistance took a portion of the voltage. I mean, in the case of series, the voltage is divided. Now let's try the parallel connection. The battery voltage is 9 volts. On the first bulb, measure the voltage, which will be 9 volts. Exact same battery voltage value. But if you measure the second bulb, we will also find it is 9 volts. This means that in the case of parallel connection, the voltage is not divided. The voltage in the case of parallel connection is constant. even if the value of one of the resistances is changed. 
I will find that the voltage is still 9 volts, which does not change. It remains in the case of parallel connection, the voltage is not divided. The first thing we have seen is to divide the voltage in the case of series connection and parallel connection. The second difference that we want to experience is the division of current in the case of series connection and parallel connection. And it will be via ammeter. Here we take the ammeter and measure the current at all points in the circuit. We are here at the point where the current exits from here. I'll find that its value is 0.45 amperes. If you measure it before entering the bulb, we will find it 0.45 amperes as well. If you were to put on the second bulb, we will find it 0.45 amperes. This means that in the case of series connection, the value of the current is not divided by the resistors. Now we want to do the same for the parallel connection case. We measure the current from the beginning from this point. We'll find its value is 1.8 ampere. If we measure the current from this point, we will also find 1.8 ampere. It is the point before distributing the current to the two resistors. But if we measure the current at the first bulb, we will find the value of the current is 0.9 amperes. And if we measure the current at the second bulb, we will find the value of the current is 0.9 amperes. This means that the outgoing current is distributed over the two resistors. That is, the current in the case of parallel connection is divided by the components of the circuit. The last difference we will test today. What happens if one of the components of the circuit is damaged and the effect that occurs to the other components as a result? Or what happens when a circuit breaks before one of its components? Now we see that the lamps are working and lighting up now. We will remove the first bulb and we will see if the second bulb will work or not. Now I deleted the first bulb. As a result, the second bulb stopped. Because there was an opening in the circuit. This means that in the case of a series connection, if a break occurs in one of the components, it causes the other circuit components to stop working. We repeat the same thing in the case of parallel connection. Now the lamps are working. If we remove this bulb to see what happens to the other. Now I will delete this bulb, or in other words I made an opening in the circuit. We note that the second lamp is still working. The opposite of what happened in the case of series connection. This means that in the case of parallel connection, if an opening occurs in the circuit at one of its components, this does not stop the other components. Now we have reviewed three differences between series connection and parallel connection. At the end of the video, we hope to support the channel by liking, subscribing and sharing the video.